is time to discuss Data East and their rather strange relationship with the Sega Mega Drive. There are some games that Data East released in the arcade but not on the Mega Drive and there are some games that they did release on the Mega Drive and in the arcade. As you might know I'm a big fan of Robocop. The Robocop movies and some of the Robocop games even though they are not always good. But Data East had a very interesting Robocop arcade game that I think could have been an excellent fit for the Mega Drive. It was released on a lot of home platforms but not on the Mega Drive. And then there's the game Bad Dudes vs Dragon Ninja. It was also a fine arcade game from Data East. It never got ported to the Mega Drive even though its sound and graphics uh, and the general style of this game would have been a great fit for the hardware. And then there's Two Crew Dudes, a game that was released in the arcade and on the Mega Drive. And that was also a Data East game. So what could be the story behind this? Well, I think it has something to do with Ocean Software. And the fact that they just didn't really at all support the Sega Mega Drive. It is something that I consider a bit of a shame. Uh, Ocean acquired the rights to the Robocop game in 1987 before Data East got them. And they apparently got the rights for a very low sum of money. This is somewhat documented in various sources such as Retro Gamer and also some Robocop fan sites. Where there are some interviews with some uh, former employees of Ocean Software such as uh, Gary Bracey. Where he tells that well he acquired the rights uh, for a very low amount of money and then Data East had to come to them to actually make an arcade game for Robocop. So yeah, there was something going on there and Ocean at that time did not support Sega at all. Ocean was one of the odd exceptions in the UK based developers and publishers. Most of them supported Sega, backed Sega, because Sega was very popular in the UK. But Ocean is the odd one out there. They did not support Sega, uh, yet they wasted resources on things like the Amstrad GX4000 and the Commodore C64 game system, which was not successful at all. And they were pretty much in bed with Nintendo. Yeah, they were loyal to Nintendo or they just didn't see Sega. I don't know why, but it wasn't until 1994 when it was way too late that they actually started supporting Sega. However, they did make some interesting games for it, such as Adam Family Values and Mr. Nuts. Those are ocean released games. Uh, and also developed games directly for the Mega Drive, but they came out until, well, 94, 95, when it was way too late, actually. I mean, it was the tail end of the uh, Mega Drive's era. Uh, they had wasted all those years not making games for Sega. It's a shame, really, because they really missed out on a massive opportunity there. Uh, but I digress. Um, well, what if you want to play some Robocop games or similar games uh, on the Mega Drive or something similar to Bad Dudes? Well, there are some options. First, there is Robocop 3. Um, yeah, you might be thinking, isn't that an ocean game? Yes, it is. But this one was ported by Probe Software and uh, published by Acclaim under the Flying Edge brand. And actually Robocop 3 on the Mega Drive is better than the Super Nintendo original. One of the main design goals of Robocop 3 uh, was to make a game similar to the Robocop arcade game. But it was Ocean's first Super Nintendo game and yeah, it was way too difficult. Uh, yesterday I just played the SNES version and you have to use one of the face buttons for shooting upwards. And then the shoulder buttons to cycle the weapons. It is way too difficult. But when Probe Software ported this game to the Mega Drive, they made some refinements to it. Uh, they turned a really flawed and really bad game in a somewhat acceptable game. Uh, well, acceptable for me at least. Because they added a difficulty select option. They added an option to adjust the number of lives. And when you play this game on easy, it is actually reasonably playable. Uh, it plays smoother than the Super Nintendo version and the controls are much simplified. Uh, the Super Nintendo version had a really convoluted control layout and the Mega Drive's control scheme with only three buttons makes it a lot simpler and more intuitive. So if you want to play something that is s somewhat remotely similar to the Robocop arcade game, Robocop 3 could perhaps be an interesting choice, even though it's not a particularly good game 
but I think it is reasonably true to the original Robocop arcade game. But of course, if you want to play a really good Robocop game on the Mega Drive, there is Virgin Games' Robocop vs. The Terminator. This game, yeah, it is absolutely excellent. And I think it is way better than the original Robocop game from Data East. This game is, well, probably the best Robocop game ever made. Um, yeah, it really is a blast to play. But of course, there's more to it than just Robocop. Because Sega got into the action as well with ESWAT. Yes, it's not Robocop, but it's something very similar to Robocop in concept. Um, Sega, of course, had to develop a lot of their own IPs and their own games because they didn't get a lot of third-party support. But they were, of course, a competent arcade developer and they made this game which um, conceptually is somewhat similar to Robocop and it's actually a lot of fun. But of course, what about Bad Dudes vs Dragon Ninja? Well, that sadly does not exist on the Mega Drive and there isn't anything remotely similar, or is there? Well, Data East did make somewhat of a spiritual successor to that game, and that one is called Two Crude Dudes or Crude Buster. Um, yeah, it's not a direct sequel, but more of a spiritual successor to Bad Dudes vs Dragon Ninja. And surprise, surprise! It did get ported. It got released on the Mega Drive slash Sega Genesis. And it was actually done by Data East themselves, because they did do a few uh, Mega Drive games. But yeah, sadly they couldn't do Bad Dudes and Robocop because of Ocean Software shenanigans, which I think is just a real shame. But this game is pretty good, it's a pretty decent port of the arcade game. Uh, it has the same charming style and action, although uh, the hit detection isn't particularly great, but that same problem also exists with the original arcade machine. So that was it. That was my story of some Data East arcade games that should have been on the Mega Drive but sadly aren't. Uh, well, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Bye bye! Thank you for your